Hey guys, I have just finished another 12 by 12 layout for a shadow box. This is going to be a wedding gift for my cousins um, that got married earlier this year in April. And um, yeah, so I'm a little late with a, a wedding gift, but you have up to a year, right? Um, so I created a 12 by 12 layout of their uh, wedding day. And actually, this is a picture that my cousin, a different cousin, took. Um, that was there at the wedding. I was not able to attend as they got married um, in the Caribbean. And so I will take the layout out of the box so you guys can see what it looks like. But basically this is a shadow box that you could purchase at, I think I got this at Marshall's. Um, and there's glass. Um, it's inside of glass and then of course it opens up. So if they want to ever switch this out, um, they can, or if they want to change the picture out, they can do that as well. The layout is actually made to fit a five by seven, uh, picture. Um, that purple frame here is cut to five by seven, but the picture inside is a four by six right now. So, um, I will be right back and I'll show you the actual layout, um, that I made for them. Okay guys, so this is the 12 by 12 layout that I created outside of the shadow box. And I'm going to show you first um, what I use to create this entire layout. The die cuts are actually three different die cuts from Anna Griffin. And here is the largest one. And what I did was I cut it across because it is symmetrical and I cut it this way. So I got four pieces out of that, which is what makes up the four corners of the frame here. And then I also cut this one and probably be better if I put it on cardstock. And again, I cut this one in half this way. So that is what makes up this point at the top and at the bottom because you would have this gap here. Um, because the um, this big frame actually is a 5 by 7 frame. So I knew that I wanted to allow them to put a 5 by 7 picture in here. This is a 4 by 6. Um, the, the white mat under it is a 4 and a half by 6 and a half. And then the the purple frame is a five by seven. So they can put a picture in here that's five by seven if they want to swap this picture out. All I did was take this um, picture from a family member that had posted it on Facebook. This is the third die cut that I used. Um, and again, I cut this one in half this way. And that is what makes up these points on the side. All I did was cut this from the, uh, I think it's DCWV. Um, textured cardstock and I have quite a bit of it it's just solid cardstock and I ran that through my big shot um, just a note for anybody who doesn't have that spellbinders tool I'm trying to get it out here this tool I took the other end off so I could store it this way because I'm only going to use this end um, this works great to clean out your dies and I think I got mine where did I get mine seven kids college fun is where I got mine so after I figured out the positioning of the die cuts, I put it down actually on the five by seven um, cardstock that I cut out of the light purple. And it is glued down using my really fine tip glue here, only on the inner part of the die um, that overlaps that purple. Then I sandwiched it in with another layer of the light purple. So you don't see any of the glue marks. You don't see any of the overlap and some of these dies do overlap but the other thing to note is that the die cuts aren't sitting flat on the corrugated cardstock here they're actually popped up a little bit with some corrugated cardstock or chipboard or whatever you call this this was a box that i cut up and i just took two layers of it and sandwiched them together and then hot glued them down to the corrugated cardboard that is the base of this layout so it is sitting up um, off the cardboard just a little bit um, so that you can get the, the shadow back behind there. I think that's really nice um, surprise to it. It's not flat. Um, so after getting all of the die cuts situated, the, the matting there, I started in with this um, purple and white 
um, decorative ribbon. It's 10 yards, handmade in India. I got this at Marshall's. Why? Because I love the spool and the color. I got another color too. Um, and I actually never did a haul on this, but I only bought the the two two spools of ribbon. And the other one I have is a blue color, and I'm going to use it for a different project. So that's the ribbon that you see kind of curled around here. It goes this way. Oh, you can't even see my finger. It, there's a curl right here. It goes underneath the flowers. It goes down here underneath the love. And then it goes up in here and turns this way into another curly cue. So that's another layer here of color. And in case anybody is wondering the reason for this color, I knew that their colors were going to be in the purple range because the invitation to the wedding was in purple. Um, so I knew it would be some form of purple. And if you look at the um, bouquet that she's holding and his little boutonniere, it's in the same colors of purple. So that's what I pulled out and used for the flowers. These flowers are Prima flowers or Recollections flowers, pretty much the same, right? So they came in a recollection. These, these large fabric flowers here came in a three pack here. And there was also a cluster of these little um, purple flowers here. There's three different colors. This color, um, this one right here, and then there's one more, this one right here. So those, and then the leaves also were also in this package. There's two different size leaves right here. So um, that's from Recollections, which is probably the same thing as Primo, right? And then these little, I don't even know what these are. Gladi, I don't know what they are. I'm just going to say these flowers here, there's a three, uh, six pack, and they're also different tones of the same purple. So this one right here, this one, and then a darker one, um, oh, a medium one, came from this six pack of Prima um, flowers. And I don't have any to show you on the card because I've used them on the layout, so I'm showing you there. Um, that's basically it for the flowers. The butterfly came from a pack of Prima flowers. You can see he's missing from here. So he is right here. Of course, I had to have a butterfly, right? And they got married in the Dominican Republic. So I didn't want to use roses for the flowers here. I wanted to use something a little more tropical. So that's the reason why I chose these, these flowers instead of roses or um, something else. I took a wood embellishment from Michael's and I um, heat embossed it with this Stampendous, um, it's a opaque winter wonderland and it's white with little um, silver crystals in it. So um, I don't know if you're seeing that come across in the layout, but it gives it a little bit more dimension because the background is white and so you can see it a little bit more. The other thing that I did do is I did use rock candy stickles on the flowers, on the paper flowers. Um, and that also gives it a little bit of dimension too. So this is the layout and those are the materials that I used to create it. Um, and also I did do a card and I did this card some time ago. This is actually a late wedding gift um, to my cousins and um, this is the card that will be included in the um, box that I send them. Um, and this is made from the uh, corrugated cardstock um, with the glitter. You can see it's glittery. Um, so this is different from the background. And then I used this glitter paper from, I think it's DCWV, it's a twinkle stack or something like that in a six by six. I used some Project Life cards. I have a stamp here and it actually says with this ring, so you get the two rings here and I stamped the date using one of my date stamps. And then you can see here, there's a, cl a cluster of roses here. And then I also use this little heart embellishment. I think this is a Heidi Swap mirrored cluster, uh, mirrored embellishment here. And it's got that black um, flourish on it that was already on there. Um, I added some um, rhinestones, some purple rhinestones to it to kind of give it a little more interest. Um, and then there's a, the ribbon here that runs across on top of this um, bling. So this is the outside of the card. And then the inside looks like this. And I just took some of the Heidi Swap ghost tarts and stapled them down here to the cardstock with uh, purple staples 
uh, you can't really tell that they're purple, but they are. Um, and then I use two different stamps here. This is a purple embossed stamp. And then um, this is like a black glitter embossed stamp that says congratulations. So that's the inside of the card. And I will be sending this along with the shadow box that I created for them. So if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.